Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Now let's continue with the fluid mechanics by Manson. This is problem uh, 23 from chapter 1 and the problem says that a tank contains 500 kg of liquid whose specific gravity is to determine the volume of the liquid in the tank. So we are given the mass. So the mass of the fluid is given which is 500 kgs and we are given the specific gravity so specific gravity is 2 it's unitless and it is said that determine the volume of the liquid so we have to find the volume of the liquid now as we know that the specific gravity of a given liquid is equal to the ratio of the density of the given liquid density of the water at 4 degrees c so now we are given the specific gravity so from this we can say that the specific gravity is 2 and the density of the given fluid divided by the density of water at 4 degrees C which is approximately 1000 uh, kg per meter cube. This is 1000 kg per meter cube. So now from this we can find the density. So the density of the given fluid will be 2 times that 1000. right? So we can say that 2 into 1000. So this will give us 2000. right? So this is 2000. So 2000 kg per meter cube. So this is the density of the given liquid whose specific gravity is 2. Now we have to find the volume. So now we know that the density is always equal to mass divided by volume. So now we know the density. This is density is equal to mass divided by volume which is equal to 2000. From this we can add that the volume will be mass divided by 2000. So now if the mass is 500, so we can write it 500 divided by 2000. So 500 divided by 2000 is a 0.25. It's 500 divided by 2000 is 0 0.25. So the volume of the given liquid is 0 0.25 meter cube. So this is the solution of this 23rd problem. Now the next problem is uh, problem 24 and it says that clouds can weigh thousands of pounds due to the liquid water content often this content is measured in grams per cubic meter so the grams per cubic meter the grams per cubic meter is this is the density so it is said that assume that a cumulus cloud occupies a volume of one cubic kilometer so we are given the volume of a cloud which is equal to 1 cubic kilometer and its liquid content is 0 0.2 gram per meter cube. So let me write that the uh, liquid content liquid content in the cloud is 0 0.2 gram per meter cube and it's it's the density it's indirectly the density of the liquid content so let me write that this is density of the liquid content now in the problem statement in part a it is said that what is the volume of this cloud in cubic miles and in second part we are required to find out the weight of the cloud uh, weight of the water in the cloud in pounds right so how much does the water in the cloud weigh in pounds so now the solution for part a we need to represent this volume in cubic miles. So these are the conversion factors. So one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometer. So now we can write that the volume which is equal to one cubic kilometer. So we need to convert this into miles. So now we know that uh, one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometer. So we need to take the the power uh, to the power 3 so this will give us uh, 1.609 to the power 3 and kilometer to the power 3 so this will cancel out and this will be we can write that this will be 1 divided by 1.609 to the power 3 and this will be in uh, cubic mile so this is 1 divided by 1.609 to the power 3 so this gives us the volume equals to 0 0.24 uh, cubic mile. Now in part B, 
we are required to find the weight of the liquid content in pounds. So now we know that the specific weight is equal to the weight of the given liquid divided by the volume. The weight is m times g. So m times g divided by volume and this uh, mass divided by volume this is um, this is density right so we can write that this is uh, density times g so now we can write that from these equations we can write that this specific weight is equal to rho g or we can say that this ratio is equal to rho g so from this ratio we can write that this the weight divided by the volume is equal to rho g and we want to find the weight right we want to find the weight so the weight is equal to rho g and v so now we, we want to find the weight of the liquid content in pounds right so the weight is equal to rho now we are given the density of the liquid content right this will be this will be the density of the liquid content which is 0 0.2 so let me write it this is 0 0.2 gram per cubic meter so we need to convert this gram into kgs right so as we know that uh, 1 kg is equal to 10 raised to the power 3 grams so this will cancel out then we need to multiply this by g this 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 whole thing is only the density now we need to multiply it by g which is 9.81 that is 9.81 meter per uh, second square and then we have the volume now the volume is given in cubic kilometer so now if we want to find this volume in cubic meter so the volume is equal to one cubic kilometer and as we know that uh, one kilometer is 10 raised to power three meters so if we take it to the power three so this will cancel out and we will have the volume is 10 raised to the power this three into three is nine so this is 10 raised to power uh, 9 cubic meter so the volume in cubic meter is 10 to the power 9 so we need to multiply all this rho g with v in cubic meter since everything is in meter so we need to multiply it by 10 to the power 9 cubic meter so now uh, this cubic meter will cancel out so we are left with 0 0.2 into 1 into 9.81 into 10 raised to the power 9 divided by 10 raised to the power 3 and we are left with kg meter per second square so kg meter per second square so kg meter per second square is the is the force unit it is the unit right it, it is the newton right so the weight is measured in newtons so as we can see that weight is m times g so m is kg and g is meter per second square so this will be in newton this is newton right so we can write that this unit is equal to newton so we can write that this is 0 0.2 0 0.2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 10 raised to power 9 uh, divided by 10 raised to power 3 so this gives us the weight of the liquid content equals to 1. 962 and it is um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 10 raised to power 6. 10 raised to power 6 Newton. And now, as we know that uh, uh, 1 pound is equal to 4.448 Newtons. So now we need to convert these Newtons into pounds since in the problem statement you said it find the weight of the liquid content in pounds. So now 1, one pound is equal to 4.448 newtons so now newton will cancel out and this is this is 1.962 into 10 raised to power 6 divided by 4.448 so this will be in pounds so that answer divided by 4.448 so this gives us uh, 0 0.44 into 10 raised to the power 6 pounds so the weight of the liquid content is equal to 0 0.44 into 10 raised to the power 6 pounds 
and the volume in cubic mile is equal to 0 0.24 so this is the solution of this uh, exercise 24 or we can say problem 24 from fluid mechanics chapter 1 by Manson. so i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps in your learning